you're not welcome here in Hiroshima, the message from protesters to Barack Obama, who will make an historic visit to the Japanese city on Friday. He says he won't apologize for the United States dropping of an atomic bomb there at the end of the Second World War. Of course he won't apologize, because if he does, the U.S. won't be able to use a nuclear weapon again. I believe he's not apologizing to leave the possibility open to use nuclear weapons in the future. Obama won the Nobel Prize. Peace Prize, partly for making nuclear non-proliferation a centerpiece of his agenda, and has laid out the goal of a world free of nuclear weapons. I do think that part of the reason I'm going is because I want to once again underscore the very real risks that are out there, and uh, the sense of urgency uh, that we all should have. Um, so it's not only uh, a reminder of the terrible toll of World War II, and the, the death of innocence uh, across continents, but it's also uh, to remind ourselves that uh, the job's not done. The world's first atomic bombing on Hiroshima killed thousands instantly and about 140,000 by the end of 1945. After Nagasaki was hit, Japan surrendered.